Publishing research paper is not only essential for receiving the recognition and credit for what a researcher has done, but having multiple high quality publications is also important for earning a degree, attracting research grant, awards and even getting a suitable job position. But writing a great research paper is not that easy especially if you are a beginner. There are several challenges you might face while writing a research paper like language issue, lack of clarity about the structure and flow, getting stuck while framing title, writing abstract and summaries. You should be well aware about formatting manuscript and citing references as per the journal style. And due to these and many other issues, you often procrastinate the manuscript writing and delays your publications. Therefore, in this video, I will share with you how you can use an amazing AI tool PaperPal that can solve most of the problems related to writing and publishing research paper. I will also share with you some very useful tips, tools and websites that can immensely help you in writing and publishing faster. I have tried to cover almost everything you will need to write and publish a such paper along with examples. So do not skip any part of this video else you will miss out important details. After logging into PaperPal, you have two options to start writing. The web version or the word add-in. I find the word add-in to be more efficient way to use PaperPal. To install the word add-in, there are several options. I will opt to install it from the MS Word application itself. Simply click on get add-in. Search for PaperPal and add it. The installation process should take a few seconds. Ensure you are signed into the Microsoft account before proceeding. Once installed, you will see PaperPal option. To begin working with PaperPal, you will be prompted to provide your login details. New researchers are often overwhelmed by the amount of research data generated and find it difficult to determine where and how to start. I usually start by writing materials and methods section first. I recommend to begin writing a rough draft on your own first because only you know what materials and methods you actually used and then you can use PaperPal to rewrite it more effectively. Just select the section you want to rewrite or paraphrase and click generate. PaperPal will regenerate the section taking care of all the grammar and language inconsistencies so you do not have to worry much about minor issues and can focus on important things. You can ask PaperPal to write it for you by providing necessary details in the prompt. It would be better if you provide as much detail as you can to get a better response. You can see it has generated content that you can use in your manuscript. You can fill in more details and connect them as per the need. You can refer some of the published paper so that you know what should be included in the methodology section. This way you can write faster and better while maintaining the authenticity of the paper. After methods, keep all the figures and tables ready. Additionally, less important information or large data can be provided at supplementary figure or table. You can take the help of tools like MindTheGraph, Inkscape, BioRender, Adobe Illustrator and Canva to generate high quality scientific images and illustrations. Following the method section, you can begin writing the results. PaperPal allows you to attach your notes or manuscript draft and generate various outputs based on the prompt you provide. I have attached my results in the draft form and asked PaperPal to regenerate well-structured results with suitable headings and subheadings while maintaining the flow of a research paper. You can see how well it wrote the results from the data I provided. This is how by using PaperPal's write feature and the data you provide as an attachment, you can easily and authentically write research papers. Now, if you want to analyze some data or perform certain statistical analysis, you can make use of AI tools like Julius. More details can be found in the description section. You also need to refer relevant papers when you write introduction, methods and even the discussion section. Using the research and cite feature of PaperPal, you can easily find papers based on the statement you provide or the question you ask. For example, here I want to find papers where genes involved in bamboo growth has been discussed. Based on your query, it will search the literature or you can also provide the DOI or the title of a specific paper to search it and add its citation. You can copy the in-text citation and the full reference as well. You can also choose from different reference formatting styles based on the journal you are targeting for publishing your paper. You can use the chat PDF feature to quickly gain insights from any research paper. To use the chat PDF feature, you have to upload the PDF of the research paper to the web interface. Using chat PDF, you can get instant summaries, ask common predefined questions or ask any specific question. This way you can save a lot of your time reading and understanding research papers. I have created a detailed tutorial on this feature and also shared useful prompts to make the best use of chat PDF. The link is provided in the description. PaperPal can help you write title, abstract, 
summaries and even key research highlights of your paper which are often too much time consuming. Here I have asked it to write an abstract. It will analyze the entire manuscript and generate abstract. You can directly insert it in the document or ask it to regenerate another response. Similarly, you can generate the keywords for the manuscript which increases the searchability of the paper after publication. The title is one of the key elements that can boost the readability and the searchability of the paper. Once you have written all the sections, PaperPile can help you frame a suitable title. It will generate several titles to choose from. After reviewing the suggested titles, you will find that some of the titles are extremely brilliant and highly relevant to the paper. Once the draft is ready, you need to check for the language inconsistencies and grammatical errors. The good thing is that it provides you the language suggestion and if you find it appropriate, you can choose to accept the suggestion or reject it. The same is reflected in the main manuscript. I personally found this feature quite helpful in my writings and you do not have to pay for any other tool just for improving the language or the grammar. Similarly, you can find the inconsistencies like different spellings, spacing, etc. in writings and get it fixed across the entire manuscript. Whether you have written the entire manuscript by yourself or used any AI tool, you must get it checked for plagiarism before submitting it to any journal. PaperPal provides you an option to check for plagiarism so that you can focus on the areas showing high similarity to existing papers and cite them properly. For this, you have to upload your manuscript so that it gets checked for plagiarism against millions of published articles across the web. The plagiarism report shows 37% similarity with the existing resources, which is quite high. On the right, you can see the sources along with the percent match. On the left, you can see which portion of the manuscript shows similarity. Ideally, the similarity should not be more than 12 to 15%, but this varies from journal to journal. To minimize the similarity score and plagiarism, you can either rewrite it manually or use the paraphrase feature of PaperPal and cite the appropriate paper wherever needed. After making all these corrections, you should get the plagiarism checked once again. Now let's see how the final research paper looks like, what is its format and various sections. After this, I will mention how PaperPal can assist you with it. A research paper begins with a title. This is followed by a list of all the authors who have intellectually contributed to the work. You can check out this video to learn more about authorships and type of authors. This is followed by the affiliations which are simply the address of authors or research labs where the work has been done. If multiple labs are involved, all of them should be listed here. Immediately after this, the contact details of the corresponding author must be mentioned. Then comes the abstract which is usually very short from 150 to 500 words depending upon the journal guidelines. You must read the author guidelines to learn more about this specific format and word limits. After abstract, you can include about 5 to 8 keywords that improves the searchability of the paper after publication. The introduction section covers the background of the study, related work previously done by others that you find significant for your study. After this, you add a short overview of what this paper is about and what issue you are going to address. The materials and methods section comes after the introduction, but some journals ask you to mention it after the discussion. Do cite the relevant papers if you have followed their method. You must check out my video on how to write a research paper where you will find a lot of valuable information about every section in great detail. This is followed by the results section which follows the same flow as that of method section. All figure and table numbers are listed sequentially in their respective sections. The discussion can either be written separately or along with the results depending upon the journal requirement. Therefore, you must check this in author guidelines found at the journal's website. Then you add an acknowledgement section where you mention the name of person, lab or institute for their help related to material, fellowship or services. After this, you mention the contribution of individual authors and competing interest if there are any. This is followed by a list of all the papers referred in this paper under the references heading. Manual formatting takes a lot of time but using PaperPal you can automatically get your references formatted according to the journal you choose. This saves a lot of your time. You can also use different reference managers like Zotero or Mendeley to manage and format references automatically according to the journal style. After references, you add a list of all the figures and tables and supplementary files along with their legends. Figures and tables are generally uploaded as separate files. Another great thing about PaperPal is that it offers a journal submission check that improves the chances of paper acceptance. For this, you have to upload the manuscript to its web interface and it will evaluate whether the manuscript is acceptable in terms of language, structure, references, statements and various other headings. You can download the edited file and check for improvements made by PaperPal. 
It will show all the corrections of language, grammar, and missing information as comments in right panel and incorporated changes in the main manuscript on the left. You should read and verify if the changes made are appropriate. This way, using PaperPal, you can speed up the process of writing research paper while keeping it original and authentic. If you want to know how to find relevant journal for publishing your research paper, you can refer this video where I have mentioned several useful ways to find research journal. Using PaperPal, you can easily draft a cover letter or write email to journal just by providing the basic information. With so much to offer, from finding papers, chatting with PDS for literature review, citing and managing references, editing language, writing and rewriting sections, plagiarism and submission checks, I think you must give PaperPal at least a try. The link and the discount code are provided in the description. I would love to know how this tool helps you write better and publish faster. And if you want to learn how to write a review paper and how to do literature review using PaperPal, do watch these videos. If you like the information, do check out my entire playlist on research and publishing and AI tools. It will immensely help you in your research journey. Comment below if you face any problems or challenges. I will try to answer or resolve them. And do not forget to subscribe to stay connected for more such useful videos.